Delano, what do you make of the restaurant space in general right now, especially given some of these very scary COVID numbers that we're seeing uh, in some of the major metropolitan areas? Do you think that will keep people away from eating indoors as the weather starts to get colder? I definitely think that's to be seen, right, as we get more data on how different variants affect, you know, our, our lives. And I think uh, another area where the restaurants um, are looking to to really fine-tune things is if you're looking at labor availability. Darden was obviously looking to raise wages, which is the big thing where you're looking at the fight for labor uh, in this certain market for the restaurants. Obviously, you also have to look at margin, margins. You saw that Darden, the CEO, was really focused on profitability, and that's a big thing, is their fine dining business is one of the drivers of same, stale, same, store, uh, same restaurant growth. So, I think those are kind of the two big areas I look at in restaurants, look at the fine dining, look at how they're doing digitally, as well as meeting demand by making sure that their labor availability is strengthened. So I think there's a lot of headwinds, but this is a good stock and I'd be looking to buy. Yeah, good point. Restaurants have learned since March of 2020, but of course, not perfectly prepared for uh, another environment like that. GM shares are not getting a boost today after news it is starting deliveries of the company's all-electric Hummer. Phil LeBeau has more on what's driving that stock. Phil. Well, what's driving is partially the news that we had yesterday at this time, Leslie, about the departure of the CEO of the cruise unit. But today for General Motors, the focus is on the first delivery of the all-electric GMC Hummer. And the significance here is twofold. One, they said they would have deliveries before the end of the year, so they met their deadline. And also, this is the first vehicle off of the Ultium battery platform, which is going to be the platform for all of its electric vehicles. And they've got a slew of them on the way. So they have two that were delivered this week. You've got the GMC Hummer first delivery, along with the Bright Drop vans, those going to uh, FedEx. You've got the E Silverado and the electric Sierra pickup trucks. Those are going to be unveiled next year. And then we have deliveries starting in 20, late 22, 23, 24. And then you've got 30 models globally by 2025. Remember, General Motors, as you take a look at this stock over the last year, they're pumping $35 billion into EVs and AVs through 2025. So they are putting their money where uh, their mouth is, so to speak. And this is the beginning. So now we'll see what happens here over the next couple of years, guys, as they roll out these models. Let's see how much demand is there. $35 billion. Phil, that's a remarkable number. Thank you. Uh, Delano, what do you make of this EV ramp up? And why do you think that the market is not as excited as perhaps it might have been a few weeks ago? Yeah, I think there was a couple of reasons. Obviously, you know, when it comes to General Motors, they saw that the head of Cruise obviously was leaving. So I think that's what pulled the stock uh, back a little bit. But I think in general, there's still a, a pent up demand from investors for EV, right? You're looking at different um, smaller companies coming to market that have had credible valuations. And if you look at an incumbent like General Motors, they have the infrastructure built out to fill demand when it comes to the electric vehicle market. So the large investments that they're putting into this space, it, it should turn around and feed investors when it comes to buying opportunities here. Um, so I still like the stock. I obviously like some better plays uh, when you look at Tesla in different areas, but General Motors is one for, for folks to hold out there.